things start to get a little bit frantic. Now I'm starting to freak out a lot. I've done three squid, I can't do the other one. It's slimy, it's sliding everywhere. I'm just gonna let that go and get onto the veggie roll and get it going. Sam, come on, make a roll, you can do it. I just need to get this happening. Right, one minute to go. Come on! Come on, one minute, bash one out. That's it. I don't think my hands have ever moved faster. Nigiri, 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 nigiri. It just keeps going. For me right now, as long as I get everything on the plate, then that's all that matters. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Come on. <sighs> Breathe. All right, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, oh, no. seven, six, five. I got them on. I can't believe that it's all there and done. What an amazing experience, no matter what. I missed one piece of squid roll on that plate, so hopefully that won't be an issue, but could be. I, I'm just, I can't believe I got something up. It was insane. I have my zen moment for about a minute while I look down at the plate. I've got every element on the plate, but it is really messy big chunks and uneven nigiri. I think there's a big chance that I'll be going home today, unfortunately. I plated everything up with like a second to go, so I'm really happy, like, oh, I just, I don't even know how I did that. Hold on. Hold. One, two, three. I haven't put my gannet on the plate. I left a whole part off my dish, I didn't even know it. Like, I was just, I thought there was six, but now there's seven, so it's just annoying because it's like right there. Um, you know, I think Byron and Sam got everything on the plate, so unless mine tastes awesomely better than theirs, I'll probably go home, so. So difficult 90 minutes in the kitchen for all of them, I think. It takes many, many years to train as a sushi chef and to master the art. And we've given them 90 minutes to put up a plate of sushi in front of Nobu. But they did it. This tree, they did a good job. Yeah. And I am so impressed to so fast experience. And um, they did all the process. But what we have to remember, <laughs> there's a lot at stake. I mean, yeah. the three of them are competing to stay in the competition. We're going to taste all the dishes, and of course, the worst dish sends their maker home. So, should we get the first one in? Let's. Let's. For the tasting, I bring the food out. I'm quite unhappy with the size, and it's quite clumsy, different shapes of nigiri, but I just didn't have time. I completely run out. So, Byron. What's, what's missing? I mean, I'm looking at that vegetable roll, for example, and there's a few elements missing out of mine, I can see for sure. I, I had all the elements in, but I think when I cut them, I, I didn't put it all the way through. So some probably have all of the elements and some don't, which is... Yeah. George's looks good, so does Nobu's, actually. Yeah. Mine, mine. Yeah, sorry about that, Mine's missing a few things. No, it's, you know, it's okay. Yeah. So I told you at the beginning, the sushi, it looks easier. <laughs> but now and you understand how much is difficult, right? But, uh, you know, you did it. Good job. Thank you. Hey, Byron, you did it. Keep a smile on your face. OK. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Can you believe this was an, an amateur cook that's done this? Yeah. And um, so first time, time limit is 90 minutes. It's, I think mm -hmm. not bad. It's a big job. Absolutely, big job, it's a big yeah. job. It's not beautiful like my sushi, but <laughs> no, it is. No. There's obviously some inconsistencies in terms of the shaping of the rice. So George and Gary's prawn, where the rice, the rice. is kind of falling out the sides, yeah, and yeah, that. Yeah. But that's probably the thing that jars the most in these dishes. Yeah. Shall we taste? Let's do it. Oops.
supposed to be, the sushi have to be to one bite. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are really big. Yeah, big hit of some wasabi. <coughs> Fan of wasabi? Oh, yeah, there's some wasabi. <laughs> well, I think he has done well. He's treated some of the little fish really well. The salmon, really beautifully cured, nice and thin. The gurnard is exactly the same. Tuna's been well seared. And I think the consistency of the rice, too, the seasoning of the rice, too, is actually pretty damn good. Like, the grains are separate. They're quite light. We talked about when you press the rice, it shouldn't be clumpy. I love the cooking of the prawn. Yeah, the perfect. I think that this is the prawn is the, it's perfect. Yeah, it. beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm. Just looks, the shape is different. <laughs> what I find disappointing is that there's an inconsistency. You can tell as he's gone down the line, he's applied more pressure with his hands. Yeah. Mm. And, and at the end, when he's got the squid, we've got this kind of real bullet, this real bullet yeah. of rice. Um, which is a pity, because the flavour yeah. of rice is really good. Mm -hmm. Which is the opposite to the prawn, because it's really loose. Maybe that was the start, he started, that was the he, That's right. <laughs> he started six steps, and by the end, it's one step. <laughs> and sticking the fish on. How was the prawn head? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a too mild. A bit yeah. overcooked, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really charred. Yeah. A little bit too long on the grill. There's definitely some faults there, but all seven are up there, as well as that vegetable roll. So, fantastic start. Let's yeah. get the next dish in. Yeah. I know it looks beautiful, but I forgot a whole element of, of each dish, and yeah, um, <laughs> I think I'm going home. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's missing? The gurned. Ah, the gurned. What happened? Yeah. Because I'm sure you had the time to. Oh, I had plenty. Like I had so much time, and or like you know, I yeah. had the time to do it. Was all you know, like it was filled and ready to go. It was all cut, and I just need to put on the plate. And yeah, so that's really disappointing. Do you like the cooking? I love cooking. Yeah, I've grown up in an Italian family, so Italian cooking is like my strong point and yeah, just makes me happy. Okay, it's cooking with the passions, with the heart. Yeah. So when you're cooking the, this one, you're making the sushi. So always you keep in mind to that, that with passions? Yeah, I was you just, forget, I was, no, I was thinking my family <laughs> and like, everyone who supported me to get here and I was just, you know, I don't want to go home, so I just had them in the back of my right. mind. Yeah. But you did it. Yeah. Laura, we can't wait to taste. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you. What I like about, about what Laura's done is they're small and they're well formed mm -hmm. and they're consistent. And I think it's a major issue that she's left off the gurnet, but what she's done in terms of the peas she's put up, mm -hmm. very, very strong. And the little vegetable rolls, everything's in there and it looks mm. really pretty. And the fish is a little bit small, but its balance is very nice. Yeah. So all the constants, it's the same size, and uh, I can't wait for the taste. And the, the, there's a good balance of wasabi as well mm -hmm. in this, yeah. which is good. things for me love the look love the cutting of the fish it's very precise it's consistent it's all seemingly to be the same size the rice is cooked well you know it's got that little spring in it it's mm -hmm. separate grains it's loose which is which is delicious I've got six beautiful sushi yeah you know, and, a, and a beautiful vegetable roll and a beautiful crispy head that you know has the right amount of color on it's a hard decision because I think this is a very delicate plate that's put up in front of us, but there's no doubt that leaving it one of the seven nigiri is a big issue. Okay, my question is, would you prefer six good nigiri to seven okay nigiri? <laughs>